welcome back guys welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be sharing most powerful method to speed up any of your laptop or pc in 2023 now if you really want to speed up boost up the performance of your windows 10 or windows 11 pc and laptop then make sure that you watch this video till the end because the steps that i will be sharing in this video that is the best method to boost any kind of laptop now before proceeding i would also recommend you that if you have any kind of old laptop then kindly try to upgrade it like upgrade from hard disk to ssd and if you're using 4 gigabyte of ram then try to upgrade to at least 8 gigabyte of ram all right so now let's get started with the steps that you will have to apply number one what you have to do you need to close all the applications running in the background so click on the system tray icon that is on the right hand corner and whichever application you feel you are not using just right click on it and exit once you are done next we will be cleaning all the junk from the computer so that it can create some extra space on your computer and even it can increase the performance so there is a very simple tool of windows that you can use make a right click on the windows icon then from the list of suggestion click on settings now here in the system you have to look for the storage click on storage and this will load all kind of application program temporary file and what kind of storage has been occupied so just wait here until it's been all completed and meanwhile below you will find an option of the storage sense so make sure that this option has been enabled so what basically this will do that in future if you have a lot of temporary file then it will automatically delete it as you don't need this kind of files okay so the scanning has been completed and now we can see here installed apps and around 166 gigabyte has been occupied by them so probably you have installed some application in the past that you don't need right now so it's a good idea that you should go ahead and uninstall them so click on installed apps now this will display all kind of application and program installed on your computer so you can have a look on the application here listed here and whichever you feel you don't need now or you don't identify just click on the three dot and choose uninstall so look over the list here scroll down till the bottom whichever you don't need just make sure that you uninstall them once you are done you can go back now this time you can look in the document section you can click on it and this will show you all kind of document and you can see around 93.3 gigabyte has been occupied by the document so you can click on the view document and here you can see all the folders so whichever you don't need now probably you must be using some kind of application in the past and now you are not using it so you can click on it and just delete it all right so once you are done again you have to go back then we have the temporary file and you can see around 58.7 gigabyte has been occupied so click on the temporary file then it will list you all the subcategories that is occupying the space and the maximum we have is the previous windows installation so if you get this option you have to select it then you have download if you don't need the item that has been saved in the download folder you can check that as well then we have the recycle bin check all these items then you can check all the below items here and after deleting it you would be able to free up a lot of space and even the performance will be boosted all right so once you are done you have to click on remove file and all the junk will be deleted so once we are done with the cleanup next what you will have to do you need to disable the startup application now whenever you turn on the computer these third-party application boot along with your windows operating system and that basically slow down the booting time and even the performance when you enjoy your computer so right click on the windows icon then click on task manager now here from the left hand menu option or from the top menu click on startup apps and here look for all kind of third party applications like bluestack battle.net skype discord neat dm onedrive so whichever is the third party application kindly go ahead and disable it because you can manually open it whenever you want on your computer you can just leave any kind of antivirus audio or the wireless file or the microsoft file 
rest disable all the third party applications once you are done from the left hand menu or the top menu option click on processes and this will list you all kind of application running and even it will show you the cpu and the memory and the disk usage now what you need to keep in your mind here that whichever application you are not using kindly go ahead and close them because majority of the time you have the slow performance when you're running the multiple applications and they occupy a lot of resources and that basically slow down the performance so always try to use the application that you only need instead of using a lot of and tons of application because they all eat a lot of resources all right so this thing you also need to keep in your mind and now in the next step we also need to disable some windows features that basically is installed on the computer and we don't use and that basically occupy a lot of resources so you need to click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl then hit the enter key now here from the left hand menu option click turn windows feature on or off now once you click on it it will be loading up now here you'll find many features like print to pdf so if you don't use the print option to the pdf option then you can disable this windows feature similarly microsoft xps document writer you can just uncheck this item then you have the print and document service so if you're not using any kind of print services then you can go ahead and uncheck all these options like this and then you can come down then you can uncheck the telnet client and if you have the hyper v then you can also uncheck it if you don't use the virtualization then you can uncheck virtual machine platform and then you can scroll down windows sandbox so if you don't need the sandbox you can just turn off this option and even you can turn off windows subsystem for linux you can uncheck this option if you basically need for the normal purpose you can uncheck this option so once you uncheck all unwanted feature from here then you have to click on ok this will take some time probably it will ask you to restart so don't go with the restart as we have to complete few more steps and next we also need to disable the graphic and the animation that basically occupies a lot of resources and if you have a low end pc then it can really slow down your performance so what you will have to do you need to click on your windows search type this dm.cpl hit the enter key the system properties will be up now here from the top menu option you have to click on advanced under performance you have to click on settings now here in the visual effect it might be selected to let windows choose what best for my computer you need to go with the third option that says adjust for best performance now before proceeding let me clarify this will be disabling a lot of animation and the graphic so basically if you don't need it it's a best choice that you should go ahead and disable all these options but if you need it then you can just skip this option so once you choose this option there are a few things that you will have to enable like show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of screen font only these two options you need to check then you have to click on apply and then click on ok and now finally you have to make a right click on the windows icon then you have to choose settings in the setting from the left hand menu option click on personalization then you will find the colors option click on colors and here you will find the transparency effect so this basically is a windows and surface appear translucent so if i disable it so you will find there is a little bit effect that has been disappeared that is a transparency effect and if i enable it back you can see that what is the difference so if you don't need okay because this is also a part of animation and it also occupies a, a lot of resources so it's recommended that you should disable it all right once you're done you can close it and then make a right click on your taskbar click taskbar settings in the taskbar setting you have to disable these two options that is widgets and chat this chat is basically associated with the microsoft team and most of the people don't use it so disable this option disable the widget option as well now a part of this if you also have the one drive and if you don't use it then you can also go ahead and disable it or remove it you can find microsoft one drive in the applications that i explained you before that how to uninstall the application all right so now finally we are remaining with the final step where we also need to clean some kind of infection and the malware from the computer so if you have made all the changes and if you have any kind of infection and malware 
still your computer will be lagging so i have a very powerful method very powerful software that is hitman pro that is free to use and you can use it for one time so you will be getting this link in the description you need to come to this website and here it says free 30 day trial so you need to click and download it then it will ask your email just type your email run a scan and if there is any kind of trojan malware infection on your computer it will detect it and even it will give you the recommendation that how you have to delete it you can click on the delete item and then finally restart your computer and once the computer get restarted you will find a great change so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely boost up your pc performance or laptop performance in 2023 and if this worked for you do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section